Section. Introduction. In this section, we explore the concept of intelligence, which has intrigued many fields, including psychology, philosophy, and computer science. Although there isn't a universally accepted definition, we recognize that intelligence encompasses a wide range of cognitive abilities rather than being limited to specific tasks. Our goal in AI research has been to create systems that exhibit this general intelligence. Recently, language models, particularly ChatGPT and other open source projects, have made significant strides in this area. The early developers of large language models, LLMs, aim to understand and interact with humans by investigating reasoning mechanisms and building extensive knowledge bases filled with common sense information. As we progressed, the focus shifted to how users can effectively prompt these models and how developers can train them. We found that different prompting techniques can greatly influence model performance. One popular method, called chain of thought prompting, helps models use their internal reasoning to tackle complex tasks. OpenAI has successfully integrated this approach into their training process, leading to the development of the O1 model. While the O1 model shows strong performance in general areas, its effectiveness in specialized fields like medicine is still uncertain, especially where specific training may be lacking. Current evaluations of LLMs in the medical field often focus on limited factors, making it difficult to assess their overall capabilities in complex medical tasks. Our paper aims to address this gap by focusing on the O1 model and identifying three key aspects of LLMs in medicine, understanding, reasoning, and multilinguality. To evaluate these aspects, we compiled 35 existing medical datasets and created two new challenging question and answer datasets. Our findings indicate that the O1 model exhibits improved clinical understanding and reasoning skills, validating its potential in real-world diagnostic situations. However, we also noted that no single model excels in all tasks, although O1 performs well in most evaluations. Additionally, the model still faces issues like hallucination and challenges with complex multilingual medical cases. We also observed that inconsistencies in evaluation metrics can significantly impact model rankings, highlighting the need for reliable metrics in future assessments. We believe that chain of thought prompting can further enhance the O1 model's performance in medicine, even though it has already been integrated into its training. In our discussion, we address the issues identified during our evaluations, emphasizing the need for consistent evaluation metrics and improved instruction templates for models using embedded prompting strategies. In summary, we aim to explore the potential of the O1 model as a clinically viable tool, focusing on its understanding, reasoning, and multilingual capabilities. Our evaluation framework categorizes tasks and datasets to provide a clearer analysis of the model's performance in the medical domain. Section Summary In this section, we explore the complexities of intelligence and the advancements in large language models, LLMs, like O1, which aim to enhance understanding, reasoning, and multilinguality in medical applications. We outline our evaluation framework, which includes diverse datasets and prompting strategies, to assess O1's capabilities and identify areas for improvement in clinical AI systems. Section Metrics in this section, we discuss the metrics we use in our evaluation process. We measure accuracy to determine the percentage of answers generated by our models that exactly match the correct answers. This metric is applied to multi-choice question datasets, the MedCalc bench dataset, and parts of clinical suggestion and concept recognition datasets where the correct answer is a single word or phrase. The F1 score, which combines precision and recall, is used for datasets requiring multiple correct answers. We also use Blue and Rouge, which assess how similar the generated responses are to the correct answers, specifically using Blue 1 and Rouge 1 for all free-form generation tasks. A line score helps us evaluate the factual consistency of the generated text, and we apply it to all free-form generation tasks to measure how much the model might be hallucinating. MAV measures the difference between the distribution of generated text and human written text, and we use it for all free-form generation tasks as well. All metrics range from 0 to 100, with higher scores indicating better model performance. 
For our evaluation, we selected several models. GPT 3.5, known for its strong contextual understanding. GPT 4, which has improved reasoning and language skills. And O1, the latest model capable of complex reasoning through chain of thought. We also included two open source models, MEDITRON70B, trained on medical data, and LAMA 3-8B, the strongest open LLM currently available. The O1 model shows impressive reasoning abilities in clinical diagnosis. It significantly improves accuracy in our challenging QA tasks, NEJMQA and Lassent QA, with average accuracy gains of 8.9% and 27.1% over GPT-4 and GPT-3.5, respectively. Additionally, O1 excels in mathematical reasoning, raising the baseline of MedCalc bench by 9.4% compared to GPT-4. In complex scenarios involving multi-turn conversations, O1 outperforms both GPT-4 and GPT-3.5, achieving notable accuracy improvements. These results highlight O1's effectiveness in real-world clinical situations. Moreover, O1 provides more concise answers, generating shorter interpretations while still being correct, unlike GPT-4, which often produces incorrect explanations. We attribute O1's advancements in knowledge and reasoning to the improved data and training methods used. Overall, we feel optimistic that we are moving closer to developing an automatic AI doctor with the O1 model. We also recognize that LLMs can be judged differently based on the metrics chosen. Our experiments reveal that using various metrics can lead to inconsistent evaluation results. For instance, O1 generally outperforms GPT-4 in traditional metrics like Blue 1 and Rouge 1 except in a specific clinical suggestion task where it underperformed in BLEU1. Additionally, while O1 excels in Rouge L, it falls short in MOV scores despite performing well in text summarization tasks. We also see discrepancies between accuracy and F1 scores, where LAMA 3 outperforms O1 in accuracy but lags behind in F1. These observations highlight the need for more reliable metrics for evaluating modern LLMs. Section Summary In this section, we detail the evaluation metrics used in our study, including accuracy for exact matches, F1 score for multiple correct answers, and blue, rouge for free-form generation tasks, alongside align score for factual consistency and MOV for distribution similarity. We also highlight the performance of various models, particularly the O1 model, which demonstrates significant improvements in reasoning and accuracy over GPT-3.5 and GPT-4 in clinical scenarios, while emphasizing the need for more reliable metrics due to inconsistencies observed across different evaluation methods. Section Main In this section, we acknowledge the limitations of our work. While we perform thorough evaluations in the medical field regarding understanding, reasoning, and multilingual skills, we recognize that there are other important aspects, like safety, that we will address in future research. We also plan to explore more advanced prompting methods, such as retrieval augmented generation, which could improve accuracy and reduce errors. It's important to mention that current GPT-like models may not perform as well as BERT-based specialists in classification tasks. However, we choose to focus on GPT-like generalists in this paper because they offer more flexibility as zero-shot learners.